For the last one year, Kenya and Tanzania have seemed to read from different sheets of the hymn book as COVID-19 spread across the region, with frequent rows at the border and tense diplomacy between the two countries. But now Tanzania could be turning a corner under the president, Samia Suluhu, the new head of state, making her first major pronouncement on COVID-19. Na kusudia ni unde kamati ya watalamu. Waliangalia swala la COVID kwa upana waki. Waangalie remedies tunazo ambiwa zita, 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 tusaidia. Kwa upana wake kitaalamu kabisa. Halafu watushauri serekali. The statement has elicited global interest since it is a marked departure from the abrasive stance taken by a predecessor and now deceased, John Pombe Magufuli, who oscillated between rejecting the existence of the pandemic and declaring victory over it. Kwa Tanzania, tumeweza kushinda ugonjwa huo. Na sasa nchi yetu ipo salama. But Samia says Tanzania must now take what she called a clear stand on the pandemic. Hatuwezi kujitenga kama kisiwa na hatuwezi tukupokea yanayoletwa bila kuweka uh, cha kwetu bila kufanya utafiti wa kwetu rais kikwete alituambia akili za kuambiwa eh kwa hiyo tuweke na zetu tuwe na msimamo maalum unaoeleweka the controversial stand taken by Magufuli so Tanzania stopped the daily reporting of COVID-19 figures in April last year, departing from a World Health Organization recommendation for keeping track of the disease. That too could change in the coming days. So to nasoma, mambo ya COVID ulimwenguni Tanzania, desh, 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 hayeleweki. Tueleweke kama tunakubali, tunakataa, tunafanyaje. The deputy director at the Africa Center for Disease Control, Dr. Ahmed Ogwell, hailed the decision of Tanzania's president, stating, in quote, No country is safe until all of us are safe. Solidarity in action is important in arresting the pandemic. Tanzania's decision is just the core message of Africa CDC that encourages use of evidence data in not only COVID-19, but also matters public health. <laughs> Na ukitaka kufika vipi uende na wenzio. Ukitaka kufika mbali uende na wenzio. Lakini ukitaka kufika haraka naenda peke yako. Lakini sasa unafika haraka je? Unafika na lengo lilo likusudia hatutaki kwenda peke yetu. Twende na wenzetu. Kenya will be observing developments in Dar es Salaam keenly. Just last week, the United Kingdom included Kenya in its so-called red list in what is believed to be partly as a result of the country's open border with Tanzania. Already a variant of the virus from Tanzania, which is believed to be more dangerous, has been detected in some Kenyan patients. The Tanzanian president emphasized in her speech a desire to see better relations with the rest of the world. The decision on COVID-19 could be a major first step in that direction. Rakel Muigai, Citizen TV.